House Republicans today released the text of a resolution that would authorize their impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. The resolution, introduced by North Dakota Representative Kelly Armstrong, would formalize the ongoing impeachment inquiry that's been driven by three House committees, Judiciary, Oversight, and Ways and Means. It would help the committees enforce subpoenas and allow the panel's chairman to designate open hearings in their investigation into the Biden family. Multiple House leaders have said the chamber is expected to vote on the resolution next week. The White House didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. In other national headlines, we send it over to Alan Miller. Well, Monica, the U.S. House voted to censure Representative Jamal Bowman for triggering a fire alarm when there was no emergency. The New York Democrat was caught on camera pulling the alarm in late September, which caused an evacuation. It happened before the House was set to vote on a government funding bill. Bowman said it was an accident and has already pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor. Republicans have now censured three Democrats since the GOP took control. The pilot accused of trying to bring down an Alaska Airlines flight has been released pending trial. Joseph Emerson has been in custody since late October after reports he tried to shut down a plane's engines while off duty. Emerson is facing 83 counts of reckless endangerment and a single count of endangering an aircraft. Buildings across Las Vegas displayed UNLV strong signs overnight after a deadly shooting rattled the city, which already suffered the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. A person opened fire on campus of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas yesterday, killing three people and wounding a fourth. The shooter was killed. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, mail delivery has been slower than usual around here. Find out what's being done to address the issue. Back to you, Monica. 